to all my friends in Tiki Animation Land. This will probably be the last time we look at the control module inside the Tiki Mask. It is almost complete as far as wiring goes. If we look at the module, which is now energized, we have a 5 volt power supply and a 12 volt power supply. We have the 115 volts input through a switch and through fuse banks, which is protected. Over here is the same amplifier we've been using. We have a panel mounted potentiometer, which is wired back into this power supply back here. And what it does is it adjusts the power supply down. It's a more or less a, a reducing bucking power supply. We start here with the 5 volts supply. It comes into this terminal board here. The purpose of this terminal board is for distri distribution of 5 volt power to all the Tiki lights inside the Tiki mask. The chip is a high power driver. It's a 50 volt 500 milliamp driver. So I can drive the LEDs in several parts of the animation. Right now it's only using one of those drivers but that's okay because later on if we'd like to add things we can add them. It is hooked to 200 milliamps of red LEDs in the eyes of the Tiki. Back here again is the view meters for the uh, Tiki view meter. You can see now that there is an audio transformer now installed. So that board is complete and all the wires are trimmed back and shortened so they all fit in there. Thing is bundled up together. Coming off the 5 volt power supply board also feeds to this power supply. Now what this has done is 5 volts and then the pot is a voltage adjustment to it. So all the resistors and the LEDs in the headdresses of the Tiki's were sized to run off of maximum LED continuous current about 20 milliamps and the uh, power supply was 5 volts. What we can did now is that this bucking power supply was installed and it has outputs so that I can terminate to the other lights inside and I can adjust them. So we can move on to the CPU now. You can see the Arduino was underneath we're coming out to the WDV020 sound chip. And what we have here, just kind of hard to see, is just some NAND gates. And what we do is we're looking at the infrared detector. So when it detects motion and it is playing, it won't trigger the uh, sound card again and it also is brought into the Arduino. So what we have coming out of the Arduino right now is we have outputs for the servos of the Tiki eyes. We have an output for the LEDs in the Tiki eyes. There is one output for the left one and one output for the right one. There is also an input from the TWDV020 when it triggers and it's actually off the LED signal when it triggers it is sending a signal into the CPU that it's using to initiate uh, an animation sequence now everything else from here on in is going to be software and you also know I changed the location of it so that I could install this board inside the base of the Tiki unit like so push it in secure it and still be able to access the programming pen for later on so what we can do right now is we'll take a little walk and watch it in action uh, as we go there you'll take notice of some things right here that is the proximity sensor we'll say it quietly the motion detector is right there it's been permanently installed in a place where no one will see it. There's still some other things that need hooked up. 
you see there's still some things in the torch that are wired and we still have some motion servos that we want to do on the other tiki but for right now we're going to leave it there so we can start writing software and get things moving as of right now too you see the eyes are still moving around a little bit so we're going to go around the front just to show what this tiki looks like right now and you can see we have the dirt oh and I have triggered it and that was pretty cool and you can see is it triggered on the red LEDs came on for the eyes on the right one and the LED white LEDs came on for the left one now with the voltage adjustment on a lot of these LEDs, you see the, the bright ones on the outer edges are running off of 5 volts. But a majority of them in the middle, especially the flashing ones, are adjustable. We've left that in. So uh, if it gets really bright outside, we can crank them up. Anyway, here we go. This is the T. Okay, that's what it looks like in the dark. Let's see if we can trigger. And with a quick change of software, we can easily modify the behavior of the eyes is one of the choreographic sequences. Instead of looking uh, and just uh, sweeping back and forth, now we have kind of the nervous looking around of the eyeballs. Looks pretty cool. We can take a bunch of these different sequences and string them together or have them picked by case by case. I'm feeling a little nervous today.